everybody, I'm here, safe and sound. I'm not gonna show you my room yet because all my luggage and everything is everywhere and it's a bit of a shithole right now. There is a few days till England goes into the national lockdown. So today we're gonna go on a little walk outside of our main area because we're this is kind of the last day that we're allowed. I'm gonna take you guys along and this should be our last first and only trip out and then it's real lockdown. So I'm very excited. I've never been to either place so it should be uh, really, really nice. You remember that tree that I was talking about last time that I said should have fallen down by now, but it hadn't? She fell down the other weekend. The waves were humongous, and I guess it's finally her time to go. The water has come down a lot, though. You can see we never used to have this much beach. Well, we did back when we were kids, but then it came all the way up and we had no beach at all. And that's why all these trees are falling down because they were never in the water before. But now it seems to be coming back down, which means we're hopefully next summer we'll have a beach that we can uh, actually sit on this time rather than just the rocks. Maybe I'll be able to play guitar out there again. So today is Sunday. We're headed back from the cottage today. I've got my exam in just over a week now. So I'm getting a little bit stressed, but it was nice to be able to come up one last time before I have to really go into study mode for the final week. Missing Holly a lot. It's weird to be up here without her. I can't remember the last time I've done that actually. It's been a really long time. So I had a great weekend with family, but definitely, definitely missing Holly. It's really weird to try and figure out what to vlog out here because I am the most boring human being ever when I don't have Holly with me. Literally all my life has been has been studying, playing games with my family and waiting for Holly to text me back. So that's basically what's going on. Yesterday we went to the golf course and we actually collected golf balls. Now that the season is done and the course is closed, we went in with like our boots and hats and mitts and we went out into like all the bushes and found all the lost balls in there. And I think we collected 85 of them, which was pretty cool. I'll show you guys on screen all the different balls we got. We're just starting to get into golf now, so hopefully we can use them next season and play with a couple of them. I don't really know the difference between each ball, so I just like the colored ones. I'm gonna head back up. Not sure if I'll come back down again today, so bye water. morning time i've been sleeping in since i've been here so it's been fucking phenomenal i just thought i'd let you in kind of on like a little family tradition that we're about to do in england we used to celebrate pancake day or shrove tuesday all the time and it's something that i've kind of lost after moving to canada so we're gonna do it today basically what the tradition is is just dad cooks pancakes and we eat them the pancakes are kind of more like crepes i don't know if anyone in england does it our way if it's like an english thing or if it's just like my family's way of doing them but i'll show you downstairs and it's something that's really kind of special and definitely reminds me of childhood i can kind of smell the batter and stuff now so i'll go down there Oh, Dad, well done. Practice perfect. <laughs> Hi everyone. Always feels weird vlogging without Paige. Um, I've been in England for just under two weeks now. I'm having an amazing time. I do miss Paige, but I'm eating all my favorite food. I've been able to spend so much time with my parents and my brother, and uh, I'm able to see my aunt because she lives alone. And in England, that's how the bubble system works. You can have a support bubble. So it's been really, really nice to... Mom! I'm vlogging. <laughs> I have a COVID test and I'm really nervous because I don't do well with 
things in my mouth. I have a massive gag reflex and you have to put the same swab in the back of your mouth and then the exact same stick has to go up your nose. So it's obviously very uncomfortable, but it would be worth it to know that I'm safe and I can see them and not put them at risk. So um, I'm gonna show you the whole thing. I'm gonna have my dad do it because I think otherwise I'll just chicken out and remove it, so. <laughs> <laughs> Give us a big thumbs up. <laughs> okay, hi guys. I'm hoping that this this camera will stay up right now. It's literally just being held up by some vent on my car right now. So if you fall over, I'm so sorry. What Holly and I are doing is we're trying to film kind of what our lives are like right now that we're currently away. As you guys know, Holly's in England right now and I'm here in Canada. It absolutely sucks. I mean, I'm so happy for her to be able to be with her family, but it's definitely difficult. I miss her a lot. Today, I'm basically just in the middle of getting a bunch of things in order for when Holly does come home. One thing I wanna do is I wanna send out a letter that I wrote her and I sent it off and hopefully surprise Holly with it because she has no idea that I'd be sending her a letter. Oh my God, I feel like pen pals, it's so weird. And I'm also gonna go pick up some things from the PO box and I'm also gonna go to Holly's condo, check on it. I also have my exam coming up as some of you guys know. Basically, I'm trying to study for that at the same time. So yeah, right now headed to the PO box, headed to Holly's. Okay, I just got to the post office. So I'm gonna go in now, drop off this card and pick up whatever we have in the PO box. Ooh, also, please note the mask. Fashion or fashion? Okay, I was able to ship off my letter to Holly, which is great. And we did get a couple of things here. Opening the stuff in the PO box is like one of our favorite things to do together. So I may have to wait till she gets back, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to. Okay, I made it. And wow, what an event it has been since I've arrived. First off, I get into the building, the ceiling, is no longer there in the building. There's plastic wrap on the floors. You can see the ceiling is bare through right to the pipes. I come up here and I get in here and I see that the power's been out, the clocks are flashing. Then all of a sudden the fire alarm starts going off continuously and then it's taking breaks, comes back on. You know what, I'm surprised it's not on since because it just keeps coming on and off. The water is not on currently right now. They're redoing the pipes. Yeah, I think that's everything at this point, but I mean, I don't know how much worse you could get. I was gonna study here after maybe if things were okay, but with the power outage, no water and uh, ringing bells, I'm thinking I might just go home and study in the basement. Anyway, I'm here, everything's fine inside. Like this is all just outside the building. I'm probably gonna head out in a few minutes because I'm getting a blaring headache from these alarms that are going off. Yeah, that's about it. You know what? Oh, I will open the PO box before we go. That's what I was gonna do. I can't wait another two weeks. And can we please just appreciate the fit of this? Um, hello, brand new coat, yes. Yeah, I just got this a couple weeks ago because I had a gift card from some other clothes that didn't fit me because the seam of the ass literally split in half when I tried to put them on. So I had to return those, uh, just wasn't working out for me. So I got this coat instead with my gift card and I'm just loving this. Like, tell me I'm not business casual slash business, um, law um suit and suit and tie type of uh, doctorate degree it's way colder in here everything is just darker look at isn't it darker in here without holly okay also can we just take in um my little earrings here got a good old moon and a star. Do you like that? I think they're each different because I'm quirky like that. Okay, no, but these are from Ana Luisa and I'm gonna talk about it more with Holly. They're our sponsor for today's video and Ana Luisa, they're amazing. We've worked with them before. They're a great company. The materials and their items are sustainable materials. They are environmentally friendly and stylish. So these earrings are brand new. I just got these in like last week and Holly's got a few things as well. I don't like to wear cheap jewelry. I've never liked to wear it. So uh, that's a big reason why we do like Ana Luisa so much is because it is top quality you look fresh to death in it like look at that tell me i am not model material now take these away oh who is that oh it's Paige, the victoria's secret angel oh my god look at that poor kid that fell in the mud oh she's back Okay, I just had to show you this because I actually want to cry. This gift is from JT. It's just the coolest gift. He's so good at making things and finding things for us that are so personalized. I really want Holly to see this, so I'm definitely not going to go through it all. But JT, I just want to thank you. He 
put together a book on our first 100 videos on YouTube. So he took photos and screenshots from each video and put them all in a book. I haven't gone through them all yet, but this is just such an amazing gift and memory to look back on. JT, thank you so much. And for everybody who's sent us stuff in the PO box, they mean more than Holly and I can ever say. And we're just so thankful and appreciative to so many amazing and kind people on our side who want to support us and want to get us something. Like I just, to this day, I can't exactly comprehend or understand it, but just know we are so thankful and they make our whole day. Now I'm going to head home so that I can study for the rest of the night. I don't think I told you guys, but I've done something to my eyes. I think that I was staring at either my phone, computer, or books too long, but I literally did an eye strain. I don't know if that's actually a thing. Well, it is a thing. I Googled it now. It really did happen and it hurts to move my eyes around right now anywhere after like five seconds they just get so tired so i'm having a really hard time right now and i don't really know how i'm going to study tonight i might take some advil and try and put like a hot washcloth or something on them because right now they are killing me i guess i'll see you guys when i get home bye hi guys so i'm just about to get ready we're about to go to my aunt's house for a meal so we're about to head over there i'm gonna get ready first because i look like a i don't even know just very <laughs> Anywho, yeah, we're about to go over there. It's been a really, really good trip so far. The only thing that's kind of been a bit of a hiccup is my mom had to go to the hospital the other night. She's okay now. We're not sure what's wrong, but I mean, she's healthy. She's back. So yeah, I should have a really nice night tonight. I'm missing Paige, but I'm so busy trying to catch up with family and stuff that i know it's probably gonna be a little bit easier on me at the minute than paige because plus Paige is soul she's studying really really hard for an exam and she seems to be doing okay she just basically laughs off all the stress which is arguably unhealthy but um i know that's her process so i'm gonna leave the gal be but uh yeah i'm missing her a lot and um i really wish she was here with me but more lamb for me tonight so i mean you know I'm just joking, if you're watching this, I miss you so much and I love you. Hi! Cheers, everybody. Love Cheers. you all. Oh, I love you. Hi, everyone. I'm pretty sure I wore this outfit when I left, so you can tell that I'm missing Paige a little bit. I think I'm cursed because the last time I came over for Christmas, uh, my granddad was in the hospital for Christmas Day. Um, so I actually had to say goodbye to him on Christmas in the hospital um, because I knew he wouldn't be let out in time for my flight home. Um, so this time, uh, my mom has been in the hospital, um, kind of in and out of hospital twice now. They've run tests and everything and they're not really sure what it is. She thinks it's, uh, gallstones, um, but it is, it's been, uh, quite scary and we're waiting to kind of hear back of as what's gonna happen, um, but she, she's staying away from fat and greasy foods, so that's been tough in the household because we're all eating healthy now unfortunately so what a bitch basically i'm so happy i'm here for it because to be kind of so far away in a different country while all of this is happening um would be really difficult but uh yeah it's it's good to be here and have to support my family and be able to support them too while we're not sure what's going on but i'm definitely missing Paige. she's my whole support system over there and my other support systems here but uh it would be nice to have her here that's the sad news in better news my november christmas is coming up my mom is out the hospital so that's really really good we're just about to eat tea all together now also i don't know if i'm talking weird or loud or what but this ear has been blocked since i landed and I've been putting olive oil in it every single night. I'm not sure what Paige is up to, to be honest. I haven't called her yet today. Usually I call her later at night, kind of around one or two my time, which is eight or nine her time. Wow, that took me too long. <laughs> but yeah, I'll catch up with you guys soon.
Okay, wow, this is quite the change of events we got going on here. Let me update you all. It is now the next day, right after I filmed that goodbye portion yesterday, you know when I was talking about my eye? Well, it got 10 times worse. I was unable to study last night. I couldn't do much of anything because my eyes hurt so bad. I now have this heating pad that's just constantly been on my eyes to try and rest them, but this could not be worse timing for this to happen at this point. So I can barely look at the screen, like even just looking at my phone right now, it's very painful. Hi everyone, please ignore this massive zit on my lip. I have been eating like shit, drinking like shit, and not sleeping much, so hello. I've realized that I've barely vlogged since I've been here, mainly because there's nothing exciting to vlog. The lockdown here is very intense, and for good reason. I'm not bitching about it, um, but there's literally nothing we can do. Everything is closed other than grocery stores, and I'm not going in those either just to be safe. But on the positive, it's pretty much it's exactly what I needed. Most of the times when I come here, it's so go, 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 see this person, do this, we've got a reservation at this time. Like, even if I'm tired and don't feel like going, I have to go because it's been booked for so long in advance, where <laughs> this time I'm able to do things that I would do if I lived with my family here and it's just been so amazing for instance like cooking with my mom I'm able to like cook meals with my mom now which is something that I would have really felt like I missed out on when they moved back and uh, I'm working out with my brother he's really into boxing so I'm able to like go on the bag a bit with him my dad <laughs> got a metal detector recently so I've been hunting for treasure with him it's just been so phenomenal to live like a normal life because at the end of the day when I visit them I don't want to feel like a guest it's been amazing we've been going on lots of walks <laughs> I've been working on YouTube a little bit Paige is still studying for her exams right now I've had to be doing most of YouTube just because I want her to solely focus on that and she wants me to solely focus on family so we've had cute fights is what I like to call them where it's kind of like we want to support each other maybe too aggressively so anyway she caved and she's let me kind of pull my weight kind of thing and then after she's done her exam she'll pull the rest of the weight so I can enjoy my last week here with family so that's basically the lowdown life without Paige has been a little darker than usual I guess so it's kind of that balance because things have been so amazing to be here with family and then when I'm in Canada things are so so amazing to be with Paige it just constantly feels like half my heart's in one place and the other half's in the other so I'm hoping Ugh, why? I swear I never cried this much and in the past like three months on YouTube I've just constantly been crying YouTube's like allowed me to come here for a month which I would never have been able to do had I been like working a real job so I can only hope that if YouTube continues I'll be able to have more experiences like this but bring Paige with me next time because then I'll have everyone that means something to me all in one spot I've only had that once for my uh, graduation from university and that was the best best day ever so yeah I'm, I'm really hopeful that that can happen I saw a lot of comments on our last video with the dirty she left me clickbait sorry about that we got a lot of comments asking why Paige didn't come basically Paige's grandparents aren't in the best health so she getting some quality time in with her family while I get some quality time in with my family while still being able to enjoy Christmas together so this was the thing that kind of worked best for us so although the distance sucks it just really has been good for both of us oh, hey baby. hi how are you good how are you I'm good <laughs> You look so cute. I'm gonna cry. Why are we so gay? <laughs> How are you, anyway? <laughs> oh, it's one o'clock, I'm in bed. Good, glad you're on a good sleeping schedule. It'll be good though, when you come home, it'll be way easier to come back and like be already adjusted to the time. So I'm kind of nervous to come back and not have much to do for two weeks. Well, hopefully we can try and find a way that we can film something, like from a distance, you know? Yeah, we're gonna need everybody's help out there in the comments to hopefully figure something out that we can film and do. You look glowing, baby. Oh, that's just this bright light and the shining grease on my forehead. It's not the grease. You look incredible. Probably because you're much you. lighter after your exam. I don't think it's that. I think it's um, my popping earrings that are actually doing justice right now. That too. You know, it takes a certain person to pull off 
earrings that do not match and if anyone wish to do it it is you exactly what are my ring speaking of? let me see this puppy hey that looks really good it's got that little slot in it so you can like kind of pull it apart and tighten it so it literally fits any finger i haven't showed you this yet i don't think hold on oh my god it's so beautiful and i have the gold chain on actually right now too can you see that that looks incredible thanks anyway i could compliment you all day but yes anna louisa we absolutely love them I pretty much click on any video of ours after our first spawn and i'm wearing this so yeah if you guys do want to check it out and maybe see if you want some of the stuff that we have or some other stuff because they have a huge selection you guys can go and click the link in our bio which is analouisa.com forward slash page and holly bf so it's a black friday sale guys if you do want to check it out there's really only a couple days to do so before the sale ends we're vibing out if you want to vibe out with us i don't know what else to say you should just go check it out Babe, I gotta say, us being able to do a spawn from across the world, that's dedication. We weren't as creative with this one as, as we typically like to be, so that is the one. I know. Oh, I just love the little like packages and stuff they come in. I wish you could feel it. It's so soft and like, here, just hold yeah, this for a Can second. I see that? Yeah. Oh, thanks. It's really cute. It looks better in my hand. Pass it back a second. All right, all right. Babe, yeah. give it back. I want it. You have to like feel it on your face for real. Okay, give it to me. Don't be so harsh about it. Here. Ow, Eve. <laughs> One other thing that I'm really, really excited about is this yeah. cube. Oh my god, you need to open it. I'm so happy it came. Okay, I'm gonna open it now. With your hand. It wasn't even written by you with it. <laughs> I'm not ready for whatever you wrote. I love you so much before I even read it. I love you too. No need to say how will I call? I love you so much. Thank you for taking the time and the card is so beautiful. I'm so glad you like it, baby. I'm gonna get up early tomorrow uh, to make the most because I don't have any days left. Yeah, that sounds good, baby. I love you and I miss you like crazy. Miss you too. We'll talk soon. It's good. Bye. So I take my love and hide it away for those who still to find.